Hey YouTube, Roy Marco with Marco Custom Build Models coming to you today with an interesting kit idea that I had and it all started with a kit that I found at a swap meet at our model club. This was before COVID and basically they make a model of Iron Man in 24 scale by Dragon. And so there's a couple of different versions on the back. There's uh, from different Iron Man movies. Now you'll have to excuse me, I'm not a big Iron Man fan, but I enjoy watching the movies and I um, also enjoy building movie cars. So that's where this comes into. So this is the Iron Man one that would be from series one. And this is a different, probably a different Iron Man suit that was used in the movie where he landed on it, but it looked the closest out of all the different Iron Man suits. This one seemed to look the closest. And of course it isn't actually red and gold in the movie. It's uh, like more of just a, a gray color. It's early on when he's learning how to use it and he lands on his, in, on his AC Cobra. Inside this box, I'll show you how it comes. You get got arms, legs, torso, and head. And I had to modify this a little bit to make it look like he landed on the car. So what I ended up uh, doing was using uh, the left leg on the right, the right leg on the left, and shaping things a little differently to happen. So that's how that kit comes. This is another version of Iron Man, but he had straight legs. This is from another version, but in any case, this is how it worked out. It also comes with a base, which is part of a C can when he lands on it. And that's the picture of the finished model if you were to build it out of box by Dragon. But when I saw the model kit, of the Iron Man, I have to rewind a few years before that, I had seen this AC Cobra, which is a kit car, but an aluminum kit car, so they squished it. And it wasn't a CGI car or anything like that, they built a car that was just a roller, no engine, no transmission, no rear end, just, you know, the wheels, paint job, looked like the car, most of the interior, and they had put a dent into it, so if you take Iron Man off here, You'll see the dent on the car. This particular Cobra had went across the block at Bear Jackson. I can't remember the year, but it had gone across. And I had seen this car and it left sort of a little bit of impression on me that it exists as a real car. It's not just CGI. And when I saw the model of Iron Man and that was available, I had picked up a couple of them and I decided that this is what I wanted to do. Now this Cobra kit is a... Uh, Monogram model, 24th scale. This is the kit here. It was an older release. And what had happened was this model had been started by somebody. So the chassis was a, a bit of a glue bomb, but the body wasn't touched yet. And I decided to use a what greater model. I paid like five bucks for it. So with the Iron Man model, I'm maybe into this for $25. And I went ahead and built it. Now, I did some modifications by heating up the body and, and bending it. So what I'll do is I'll start to get into that now. It's a harder, brittle plastic. It's a little harder to work with than some other models that I've done with um, dents. So it was uh, just a little bit at a time. Even the hood, I didn't bother heat up because it just wanted to uh, change shape. In fact, I had to get another hood from another model because the another built up, you can see was painted black here, because the uh the first hood that i tried to bend that hood scoop just melted right away there was nothing there was no it just yeah the plastic just forms very easily so i just ended up cold bending that hood into place and gluing it down so the wheels i'd painted up and detailed the tires on the real car are bigger all the way around but i'm not going to go and buy two kits to try to uh to make that happen so i'm just going to build it as as it is the other mistake that you might see is I built a uh, brass roll bar, which is nice. And I built it to the spec that was in the model kit. 
and it turns out in the movie, which I didn't realize till after I built this brass one, that it's a little taller and it has a bar that goes across. So it's not going to be exactly, yeah, it's close. I'm not going to stress about it. I just want to finish this and get it done. So the next step will be painting it, detailing it, striping it. And I did also, I'll show you the chassis still comes out. The steering wheel still comes off. It's just on a brass uh, uh, steering column that I put on there. So I still have to detail all of that up. Okay. And then the chassis does come out. Just have to kind of pop it out of here. I still have to build some interior detail. So as you can see, I took all the suspension. It was all glue bombed up terribly, so I didn't really try to save it. This car was built as a roller with no rear end, so I just basically made it like if it had trailer axles under it or something. I know the front does steer, but I didn't get into that detail. The interior, as you can see, the seats were glue bombed in there. I've had to clean all this up, and I do have another set of seats to go in. I've had to shave down the interior to kind of fit the, the body damage. So there's the inside of the interior. I got the dashboard glued in. I will, after paint, I will pick off all of that detail. And if I recall, this car was bought by uh, Gas Monkey there and Richard Rawlings. And then it was he was going to fix it and then he ended up not fixing the car and, and selling it as the movie prop. He felt it would be worth more money down the road. So that's the damage I've done. I've had to fill in because the plastic was a little bit odd to work with. You can see it rippled quite a bit here, which was okay. And and I could have left a lot of those ripples in too. But if the ripple was too deep, I then filled it back and then I sanded it out. And then I'm going to sand in some ripple detail, which I think will give me a better effect than if I just left it. So I feel like I got the dent okay it's not a hundred percent it's pretty hard to work with this plastic like i said and what i want to do is drill a little hole in the back of iron man here put a little magnet in there maybe a little piece of metal underneath so when i set him on there he just sticks on so i'm not gluing him permanently to the car and i'm planning on building this model clean uh painted nice like the way it rolled across the block at Barrett jackson uh, if you wanted you could do this model uh, your own way and you could build it in the scene with all the dirt and everything uh, the the wood planks from the roof that might be a uh, neat idea so I just wanted to show you what I've done and maybe inspire you, you want to do the same thing yourself and just uh, build it like out of the scene I'd like to see somebody do that where it's got all the planks and everything landed on there so there you go I see that's where I want to put the magnets a little hard to keep them on there I did heat up and bend the, the plastic windshield frame to be damaged. So once it's on the model, it will be sitting there, something like that. And then Iron Man will be on top there. Okay. So if I can just get it to stay, you'll see kind of how that's going to look. I was also working on building a brass windshield frame. So when I bend it, it would look a little more metallic-like. So I'm working on that still. That's not completely out of the question. But my problem is soldering the, the base to, to the uh, bottom. These points are so small that when I do the solder joint, it will stay. But if I go to bend it, it, it doesn't stay. So I'm going to have to see what I can do about that. But if I can get that to work, I will use the brass one. If not, the plastic one is there. And then there's just all the parts to detail, the headlights, taillights the seats, things like that. I got to build some inner door panels and that's it. So I just wanted to show you a fun project that I have done. I've actually been working on this on and off for the past year. And I felt like I got it to a point where I could show it off on the channel and let you see it and see what you think. So if you like this channel, please subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications, hit that like button, and have yourself a great day. Thanks for watching.